down here? That's the bottom. So you gotta make sure it's on bottom at all times. You got a bean bag now, man. today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Cooper we really love it that you're here um, you know today I wanted to go through a little bit of some of the changes that I have had to make uh, the last few months um, I swear being in your 60s is like aging in dog years like every year is worth seven years I mean that's how I have felt and I have faced new challenges that I have never faced in my life and you know uh, once a year I do a skincare routine video I do them uh, in February my daytime routine and nighttime routine but I faced so many bizarre little issues the last few months that I, I just wanted to um, I wanted to tell you about them real quick and I wanted to share with you what I did uh, to um, kind of fix the problem I think the thing that I noticed the most this year uh, turning 62 was that um, my body needed more moisture. I needed to bump up the uh, the moisture that I was putting on my face and the moisture that I was putting on my body. Um, you know, I, I use facial oils and those facial oils are not for hydration. Those are targeted oils to do targeted things. Uh, the rosehip oil, uh, cell turnover, the marula oil for firmness and so on and so forth. But those are not what I use for hydration. Hydration uh, for me is uh, a cream that I'm going to put on my face to seal in my oils in the morning and at night. So that is something that I, you know, I would do in the winter, but I would never do it all year. Well, now I do it day and night. I have never been a big proponent of using heavy creams on your face, and I still am not. Um, I will always uh, gravitate towards creams that have alpha hydroxy acid in them because there is a lightness to that and that alpha hydroxy helps me slough off dead skin cells. At night sometimes I, I love to use my bee venom mask uh, as a cream at night but I also love to mix that up other nights using an alpha hydroxy. So. Um, I guess the main point is that I needed to start using a cream on my face in the morning at night to seal in my oils. And I have noticed a huge difference in the way that my skin feels. It no longer feels uh, a little bit dry because after I would wash my face in the morning my skin would feel a little bit dry and I don't like that. I don't feel that's healthy. So um, now I've gotten my skin back in balance because I've started to use uh, uh, some creams on my face. The second thing that I had to do was bump up my retinol and I don't use Retin-A because of uh, my eye sensitivity to it but I have developed kind of a pretty potent cocktail at night 
um, with uh, two types of retinol that I'm using. I'm using a, a Hoba oil retinol coupled with uh, the CeraVe retinol and then I use my uh, um, rosehip seed oil and that is uh, loaded with vitamin A so I kind of use that as a cocktail and I put that on my face at night and I'm getting great results with that and also in the morning I <laughs> I can't just use retinol at night now. I have to use it at night and in the morning. That is, it, it just had to be bumped up. And I tell you what, I found the perfect retinol. I found the perfect serum to use in the morning. And I'd like to say, I'd like to take credit that I researched it and I found it on my own, but I didn't. Uh, my uh, good friend Cheryl, uh, she has a channel called Free Range Diva, and I'll list it below. She sent me the most amazing serum, and it's by Dell Organics, uh, and, I, and she knows I'm a big fan of that company, uh, but I had not heard of their Revival Serum before. Well, let me tell you, it is amazing. It is retinol, it is salicylic acid, it is vitamin C, it is argeroline, and it is tea tree, among a whole lot of other things. And you know, I had never used tea tree oil in, in any of my products. The, the smell is, is really, I mean, you kind of have to get used to it a little bit, but you know, if it improves my skin, who cares? Um, but I did a little research on tea tree oil, and I found it so interesting that they're doing a lot of studies on tea tree oil and anti-aging because mostly tea tree oil is thought of uh, to help acne and because the last uh, few months um, I was breaking out I was really beside myself because I mean I'm breaking out I'm 62 years old and I'm breaking out so this was like for me to use this serum um, this serum is like $30 I think it's on sale right now for I want to say 15 I'm not sure teaming up the retinol with the tea tree so for me it was absolutely perfect because those were the two issues um, uh, breakouts and, um, uh, and and firmness and cell turnover so I was absolutely thrilled uh, with this serum and I would just highly recommend it. that I really had to change is the way that I was dealing with the swelling around my eyes and I had been sent tie-dye and I had tried that and I uh, I showed you uh, how that was working out for me and you know you have to put this on uh, in the morning it's very sticky uh, it you keep it on for 15 minutes and I just felt it was very intrusive it slowed me up in the morning uh, and I had to sort of tug at it to get it off my it, it was really um, kind of a disaster for me um, but I did find something that is one-third the price of tie-dye and it works and it works so well I was absolutely thrilled to find this this vitamin C I lift and it was in my July favorites and it is such an amazing product. This has vitamin C in it. It has rosehip seed oil in it. It has retinol in it. It has um, castor oil in it, along with all kinds of other things. It is a silicone base, but still, there's so many wonderful things in this. And um, you can pick this up. You can order it online from Walmart. Um, it, there's lots of different places you can get it. So it is available, um, but it is something that it is a nice cool gel and it's just amazing where you can put it underneath your eyes you can put it above and it it's just so soothing and it takes down your swelling you you know you let it sink in for a minute and you don't have to wipe it away and you can put your uh, primer and your makeup over it and it is absolutely fantastic and uh, during the day you can feel it you you can feel it firming that eye area I mean it's like too good to be true I have seen this um, this is retailing anywhere between 25 and 35 dollars but oh my gosh it is so worth it so this is whew, this has been fantastic for me
actually changed this year for the very first time is my salt intake. Um, I used to be able to have a little bit of salt, you know, here or there, or, you know, some food that was high in sodium, but I can no longer do that. I can see it on my face the very next day. If I were to sit down and eat some french fries or potato chips, my eyes would be so swollen I could hardly see out of them. Um, and I've always suspected that, you know, sometimes when we age and we kind of lose the shape of our face, that maybe some of that is because, you know, we have extra fluid in our face and we just can't seem to drain it or, you know, keep it moving. Um, the swelling around our eyes especially, you know, it really, really helps to tap that area to keep that uh, fluid moving so our eyes are going to look a little bit more wide open. But anyway, I was talking about salt, wasn't I? <laughs> um, salt and caffeine, anything high in sodium, it, it really is best just to say goodbye to it. I, you know, I was reading this article about um, the top fashion models and they don't even, I mean, they're 18 years old and they don't even have salt in their diet because of what it does to their face. So, you know, fast forward 50 years. So, um, yeah, I gave up salt. So the fourth modification that I made was I needed to drink more water and um, not only drink more water for nicer looking skin and more supple uh, looking skin, but also for weight control. Um, if I'm drinking eight or nine glasses of water, m my appetite is cut in half. It's, it's virtually impossible for me to gain a, a, an ounce if I'm drinking a lot of water. And not just to drink your water um, for extra moisture, but also eat your water. <laughs> and, you know, try to find foods that are just full of water for extra hydration. And iceberg lettuce is a, a great source of moisture. So not a night goes by where I don't get extra hydration from uh, eating iceberg lettuce. Cucumbers, uh, melons, spinach, um, you know, you can Google um, foods that are high in water content and it, it's amazing. I mean, and not, not only do you look better, but you feel better and um, I don't know, you lose maybe five pounds, um, you know, with all that hydration. I know I have. Uh, so, and there's nothing like, you know, losing five pounds to make you feel and look a little bit younger. <laughs> modification that I had to make was the type of oil that I was using on my face. I have been using rosehip seed oil on my face for over two years and I thought every company that produced rosehip seed oil as long as it was cold pressed that it would be fine but that was not the case. I switched companies four times and this last company that I used which was called Teddy rosehip seed oil it made me break out and it took me months to figure out. But I cannot tell you how happy I was when I went back to the Aracasio rosehip seed oil and I'll list it below. Everything changed. It was as if I hadn't been using rosehip seed oil for months. I, I stopped having the breakouts. Uh, my skin looked brighter and uh, my discoloration started to fade. The circulation to my skin improved. So. What a complete difference. So what I have truly learned is that if you are using an oil, if you, if you want to use a certain facial oil and you have tried one brand and it didn't work for you, don't be afraid to maybe, you know, a shop around and try a different brand. But the, the irony of this all is two years ago, the very first brand of rosehip seed oil that I tried was Aracasio and it was the rosehip seed oil from Chile. And, you know, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't think taking care of our skin in our 60s is one thing. I think it's a combination of all kinds of areas working together to make us healthy and uh, to make our skin the best it absolutely can be with, with tone and brightness and uh, getting those dead skin cells off our face. And 
you know, we don't have to go under the knife. There are so many topical things that we can use and so much of it is just discipline and, and common sense. So those are the things that I had to change and I hope some of these suggestions might help you too. happened to me a couple weeks ago. I won my friend Susie Bird's giveaway and Susie's one of my very very favorite uh, ladies on YouTube. I'll list her channel below um, but you know if you're looking for you know a channel that is just eyeshadow tutorials she's probably not for you even though she does great eyeshadow tutorials but she's a brilliant woman and she does videos on all kinds of different subjects um, so she is so rich in spirit and she always hits the subject from a different angle and she always makes me think. I just think the world of her and so it was really extra special that I won her giveaway. And she loves Trish McAvoy so my box is absolutely full of all these wonderful products by Trish McAvoy. Um, this fantastic uh, marula oil uh, hair conditioner that I use. I've been using this all week. I love it. I have this beautiful little uh, bracelet. Uh, it's a fragrance bracelet. Um, I got a mask. Um, I, it's just wonderful. Oh, just wonderful to win all these really cool things. And look, I don't really don't think this was part of the giveaway, but you know, Cooper got a gift too. <laughs> And he loves things like this and I've been wanting to give it to him. You know, he's been eyeing it, but I wanted it to I wanted it to be pristine so I could show you. I tell you what, over a year ago, um, Susie always had a big S. She has a big S behind her. And I always would tease her about it. And I would I would always say, you know, you have that nice big S for Susan. I have to send you a big S so you can have one for Susie. So what do you think came in my giveaway box? Yep, you guessed it. Alright, so now I have an S for Susie. Now I just need another one for Susan, but how special and cute is that? It's just, I don't know, it's, it's just, I'm speechless. So thank you so much, Susie, for uh, making my month. And um, I hope everybody will go over to Susie's channel and, uh, and subscribe and... Um, I hope you enjoy her videos as much as I do. <laughs> you can always tell when I'm going to go play music because I drag out the heavy eyeliner. I don't know. I love it. Do you see these earrings? I love They're new. I love earrings. They are my weakness. He told me when he was driving the other day that he wondered to himself if he'd ever fall in love again. I thought that was really nice that he confided that. You know, last Sunday, my friend Bob picked me up and we went to a Michigan farm and spent the day and we had such a good time. And then we went to a street fair in East Town and then we had a beautiful dinner uh, at an outside uh, cafe restaurant and it was just it was just the perfect day. So, what do you do for your perfect day? I would love to know that. You know, I wanted to mention to you that um, I have been on YouTube for about two and a half years and I upload a video every Friday. And in those two and a half years, I have only missed two Fridays. So, I thought that it probably was about time that I took a break. Um, so next week Cooper and I are leaving for vacation. We have the perfect little beach house that we're going to and Cooper can roam around and go swimming and um, I can um, clear my head, write some poetry, get right with the universe and perhaps find some grass that is blue and um, maybe write some songs. But, um, but I wanted to let you know that I was going to be gone for a little while and um, I will uh, absolutely keep you posted on what's going on. I'm going to send you some postcards from the edge. Um, so I think it'll be, I don't know, I think it'll be kind of fun. I I'm going to miss you. I love you. And I hope you miss me a little bit too. I know you're going to miss Cooper. <laughs> but um, 
I think it's always important in life to know, you know, when you kind of need a break, when you need to step back, so you can, I don't know, you can, you can look at things a little bit fresher and differently because I don't want to keep making the same video for you over and over again. You know, I want to keep moving in a new direction, you know, some kind of um, way to bring my content to you in a different way. So in your next few weeks, I hope they're good ones. And I hope you take my love with you. And I hope you come back and see me and Cooper because we sure are going to miss you. So be well, and I will see you soon.